language. Ah, 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 be afraid. Uh, we'll be chatting with the guys later and hopefully getting their opinions on all of today's stories. And that's your cue to comment too. If you want to get things off your chest without using wax or clippers, then get on to our website. You can email loose.women at itv.com or try our Facebook and Twitter pages. We could read out your comments if they're received before 1.15 p.m. today. That's January the 21st. Right, kicking off today's chat, author Jane Schilling has been reminiscing about her memoirs, which she began at the age of 47. Now, 52, she's uh, completed the book and has reflected on her experience of middle age, saying, at 47, I thought a strong nerve and a good haircut would be su sufficient protection against its outrages. By 50, I knew better. Furthermore, a survey of 1,500 people aged 50 and more has revealed that our 50s are the age of happiness, as we're no longer worried about body shape and apparently we're happier and more content than ever before. So, do we think there's truth in that or are we just kidding ourselves that our 50s are something to look forward to? Well, she started a research of 47. Yeah. I'm 47 and... Um, I mean, oh, it's, it's terrible. I'm now labelled as that, that, that sort of age group. And, and, and I, I, actually, I can see how your 50s can be a really positive experience. I think, you know, kids have left home and, you know, gone away and you've probably maybe paid off your mortgage, got your house and you can go on holiday and, and all of that. So you, maybe you've got a bit more freedom. Mm. But it does, it's really weird because I never, I don't feel like I'm in that bracket that that woman just put me in because I'm 47. I, do, I don't feel any different at all. And it's only the, the way that people react to me that I know I'm getting older. I mean, my age is now a topic. Yeah, which that's is when you know you're old. When your age is a, you're old. <laughs> is a topic. But it's, it's, a, it's I, as I say, I don't feel any different. It's, I had a phone call the other day. My agent had a phone call about asking me if I'd be <laughs> happy to be the face of achy joints. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's better because they want they want you to stick these big pads on all your joints because when apparently when you get to my age that's when you've got to start worrying about your achy joints yeah. and I think to me I'm still waiting to be the face of Estee Lauder. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll get the call. Well, you're, yeah, I think you need to be a bit more realistic. What, what do you mean? What are you saying? Well, you know, I mean, I, 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 the thing is, you can't ever say, you know, the 50s, your 50s will be your best time for everybody. I'm having a great time. I'm 50. Um, but it worries me that... Um, That's because he's know, in his 30s. Well, he, no, he's not <laughs> even no, he's in not. his 30s. He's only just turned <laughs> 29. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> you know, lime out in the sun, try and age him. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm having, I'm having a brilliant time, and I'm very happy, I feel very content, and, you know, all those things, but more than anything, I'm, I'm very lucky, because I've got quite good health. Yeah. Now, you yeah. know, if you've just... At least you got your health, dear. Your that's the first sign of being health, old. And that's what you say it's when true. you're old. But, you know, I have, and I think that's, that's really important, but what worries me about this is, you know, a survey that says you get to 50, and that's when you're at your happiest, you're the most content, you're not worried about stuff, your kid's left home, whatever. You just think, right, well, is that it? Is that the top of the hill? Is it downhill all the way from now? Because no, if I it can, is, I can see that it's my birthday a, in two weeks really, and I'm 50. Yeah, but the menopause is quite a I'm frightening thing. Up. I think because that lady said from 47 to 50, it's, I mean, because I haven't got that going on yet, just for your information. Um, <laughs> and that sort of seems to be when it's official that it's all kind of dried up and gone off. Oh, my God! What was she saying? Don't say that's a horrible thing no, to I say. No, I don't believe Lisa. it is, but it but it seems to me that people have said what 47 to 50, it's official, that's it, it's all no, horrible. No, I think that's really bad, and I think people watching at home would be really upset by that. The point is Well, I'm not saying that that's a fact. Yeah, but the point and I don't is want to I anybody, think it's ridiculous. But... Okay, I I'm not a one to talk because because I know yeah. that getting older <laughs> is really hard and it, it is difficult. Uh, you know, when you look in the mirror, of course it's difficult. But the thing is, you know, anybody can age at any time. I know 30-year-olds mm. that are like 50-year-olds. I know like I know 50-year-olds that are like 90-year-olds. I think we'd all stop putting labels and numbers on us all mm. and just be who you are. You at 50 found Mark. It's lovely. You've got a wonderful life now. It really doesn't matter what happens now. You're happy. And you know, to say it's going to go downhill from now on, 
That's what no, a no, negative no, just, attitude to I know, have. But when yeah. someone says that, you can't help thinking, oh, right, I'm there, I'm 50. Yeah. Ah, what happens exactly. from but, now? But why, and I know why say that? I know a lot of 30-year-olds are not having a, as good a time as I Precisely. am. Precisely. You know, and I'm have, probably having a better time than I was you know, in and my 30s, And you look, you look be better honest. than you did when I first met you 10 years ago, which is you what you always say. <laughs> she Thanks, says it you say it yourself. And, and the th thing is, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's mm. just be happy for what we've got now. Yeah. And if you're healthy, just go but along it's with other that, people's, for God's sake. I agree with that, but it's other people's reactions to you. It's it unavoidable. Doesn't it it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. People scream when they see you. Menopausal <laughs> 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 ah, woman! Ah, but that's because they can't see you, because you're so tiny. Oh. They go, where is she? <laughs> <laughs> What you say about the menopause, it is kind of right. My hormones are Mother the same nature. size as everybody else's. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I still think, I still believe yeah. that it is the cruelest thing that, that nature does what? to women. Because it doesn't happen to men, does it? No, no you get, it it's I think it bombs. probably does. It I, it's I don't nature's know. way of saying that's it. <laughs> It, no, it's nature's finished. way of saying you're not going to have any more babies. I mean, I know particular women who had menopause. One, I know she had it at 39. I had mine at 40. And it's all it's saying yeah. is, I'm sorry, the game's up, there's no more children. No, but, but it doesn't things, mean your life yeah, is but over. but other things happen to you that are unavoidable. How do you know you yeah. haven't had it? I've read about it. Well, yeah. <laughs> not true. OK, oh, not time real. for a breather coming up when animals fight back. <laughs> have you ever been on the receiving end of our furry friend's bad moods? Back soon. <laughs> Welcome back to Friday's Chit Chat with the Chicks, or banter with the old birds, if we're telling the truth. Um, now, speaking of birds, see, see what I did there? Liz Hurley has been tweeting about one of her own after a friend gave her a blue-fronted Amazonian parrot as a gift. However, she's been doing some background oh, checks. Uh, no, it's a parrot. Uh, on her new pet, and she wrote on Twitter, have been studying parrot attacks on YouTube. Slightly nervous. So, Liz might have a touch of the tippy hedrons when it comes to birds, but have we ever regretted getting up close and personal with a pet? You love your pets, don't you, Sherry? You've had lots of pets. I do. I, I do love pets, and I've had lots of them. And um, I think... Um, I did a show called Bill Bailey on the, on the uh, you know, the, um, what was it called? Bird watching show. Um, and um, I actually held uh, lots of little birds, in, you know, because they, they capture mm. them and they stick things in, you know, like... Um, oh, no, not stick cruelty. things in them. Put, <laughs> put tags on them. Okay. And I actually held them and let them go several times. So that was the most exciting thing. I, I can't tell you. That little bird just sat there in my hand, pooed and weed, <laughs> and then and would it leave, just settled down in my Aww. hand to sleep. So maybe you so, should give Liz Hurley some tips. What kind of tips can you give her? Well, um, I, I like parrots. They're really exciting creatures to have. But I have to say, I did have... Um, Don't uh, you get a parrot. It won't get a word in edgeways. <laughs> <laughs> you need to. <laughs> I, did, I did have a very cross snail called Brian who used to live with me. And he, he got cross because I put him out at night and he used to knock on the door in the morning and go, let me in. And he used to come in and... No, he didn't. Well, he did in my eyes. He didn't. In <laughs> your head, head, he might have done. <laughs> but unfortunately, the postman stood on him and squashed him. Are you sure you're not having a hormone oh, imbalance Brian. at this moment? No, no, no. <laughs>